Hi, uh, welcome to this quick start guide for Postmaker. So once you log in, uh, you will be on the dashboard. The first thing we need to do is go to head to brands. This is where we're going to create separate accounts for our clients or our campaigns. So let's create a brand, give it a name, my brand. Uh, contact, you can fill all, all of this out if you wish, though it's not too important. Uh, once you're happy, click go. All right, before we start, we want to source all of the additional information that our campaign is going to require. So this would be things like images, and it's good to know which hashtags we'd like to target also. For your images, uh, it's best to have a cloud hosting platform to store them on. You can use paid or free. So some op a free option would be Imager, or Imager, not sure how to pronounce that. Um, I use Publito, which is a paid one, but it doesn't really matter. Um, and there was a third. Post Images is another free uh, site where you can store your images. Uh, it has a free plan, which which is fine. Um, so load up your hosting site. Just log in there. Uh, then you simply just upload the file. Obviously, depending on the platform, it will look a little bit different, but they all have the same theory behind them, really. Uh, upload files, and then let's find a picture. There's, oh, that's my son. Uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's do my little boy. Okay, we want it public. That's fine. Start upload. Give that a second. And there we go. Um, <laughs> once the image is uploaded, uh, what you need is the root URL. Um, so this will be ending in JPG or PNG, uh, depending on what you uploaded. So let's click the Get Link button. And there we go, it's JPG. Um, we've got a couple of other images here. I can use them in the example. So let's go back over to Postmaker and go to Variables. So it might look a bit overwhelming at the first, but I'll just explain this. So on the left here, we have all the previous variables that I made and which I can use with my campaigns. Uh, for this example, we'll make a new one, add variable, and give it a name. Uh, pictures or cam campaign. Go to description so you know what it is. Um, Scope. Scope is basically saying, is every single campaign in Postmaker going to have access to this variable, or in this case, these images? Um, or you could, you, so you can say, yes, everything has access to it, or you can just say individual campaigns or individual brands can have access to it. Then down here, we have the data input box. So this is basically the, the links, the links that we just made in our hosting platform. So if there's a picture of my little boy, uh, I think I've got some pictures of cars in here. Let's use them. So here's some cars, copy URL. It's really best to have an assortment of pictures, um, and the more, the better, because you're going to be making uh, 50 up posts, probably 50, 60, 100 different types of posts. So. It's nice to have images that go with them. So the more pictures, the less repetition you will have. So you simply just go through adding all your all of your pictures. Um, get rid of that line. Uh, here we have the type. So this is basically saying, are these comma separated? Or are they separated by lines? So in this case, each line is an individual, there, is an individual image. Um, and so we're just telling the system there that this is how we're displaying them. So down here we have, um, this is what the system's seeing. This is our data preview. Um, and that's it. So now we have our images all ready to go. Um, the new update for Postmaker has an auto update. So there used to be like a little save function here, which I used to continuously forget to press. But now, uh, thanks to a fantastic developer, it auto saves. Um, the other th the reason we might want to use variables is for hashtags. Uh, so let's create some hashtags. Um, all right, it's my new variable. Let's call, call it something that you remember. Hashtags campaign. I'll give it a description. Let it pull the whole account. Um, so you might have hashtags that you can think of yourself 
campaign. Um, or you can sort hashtags from, there was an app called hashtags for likes. Uh, if you, if you purchased that, so we can get some hashtags from there. What's our campaign about? I don't know. Uh, it's because it's got a picture of my boy. There we go. And these are the top rating hashtags for that word. Uh, let's put them in. This is exactly the same as images, so we'll do them one line each. If you don't have a paid version of a hashtag program, what you can do is there is another program which I which is free, which I find work very well. I can just find it now. Sorry about that. Here we go. Uh, it's called a hashtagify. So let's just close this and then scroll up. Uh, so once again, let's just put in our hashtag that we want, kids. This one kind of displays it in a easier to understand way where it's kind of done by size. So obviously the bigger, the most important. There we go. And we'll bring that over. Or is education, family, you get the idea. Um, new line. That's our hashtag done. Okay. Uh, I closed a few tabs because my, uh, my Mac was struggling. Good old Chrome. Okay, once we finish with the hashtags uh, and our images, we can start making the content. So move back over to brands and click over on the campaign which we just created uh, that was my brand. Uh, warning, there's no campaigns. That's because we're making it. So just click add campaign. Campaign name is my new campaign. With a description if you forget what. So if you have too many campaigns or if you've got uh, multiple team members, uh, and then you can explain what the campaign's about. Here we go. Here's our first campaign. So let's just click on the campaign to get started. So it goes in this order. So setup, inspiration, variables, variations, and output. So let's start with setup. Uh, what are you using to post your social media? In my case, it's Publer. Uh, some of these are currently also on AppSumo right now, um, off the top of my head. It is Social Minuals, uh, I know, and I think there is another one, but I can't see it right now. Um, I highly recommend Publer, fantastic. So if the program that you are using is not here, then uh, just click New Scheduler, please, and the developer will do his best to add it in for you. Inspiration. So what is your website? So this is basically, if you're not sure about what to post, it can scrape your website and it can give you ideas. So let's take a website, a random website. Let's use my website actually, Head Designs, and get inspired. All right, here we go. So. Specializing in creative web design for small businesses. Egghead Designs is an award-winning creative web design agency. That's nice. All of our websites are free from contract, responsive, fast, and simply awesome. That's also nice. So go through them and add any that you like. If you don't like any or you don't have a website, you don't have to do this option. It just helps with rise to block. Um, you also have um, RSS feeds. I haven't used this personally. Um, where you could, similar to websites, you can just source it from an, from an RSS. Variables, we did this area but, uh, earlier, but you can do it here. And then we're onto the money part, variations. So this one box, big box, is one variation. Uh, so let's give it a name. What is it about? Specializing in creative web design. Okay, web design. Uh, so the way it works, if this will look familiar to you if you've used spin writers before. If you haven't, I'll explain how it works. Um, so, hello, I am Alex. 
how are you? This is one social media post, not a very interesting one, albeit, but that's one social media post. What we can do here is we can make the beginning part a variable. So hello, hi. So now the program will choose one of these two words, hello or hi. So hello, I am Alex, how are you? Or hi, I am Alex, how are you? We've got yourself two posts. Let's do another one. Uh, Alex. Uh, so hello, I am player, how are you? Hi, I am, you get the point. So that's four posts. Um, I think my map is wrong. <laughs> okay, um, then you can add a third one. Yo, or oh, dangerous race. Yo. So now it will be one of those three, and then one of those two, uh, and it starts to rank up. Um, so let's delete that and look at the sentence it gave us. So if it only has one in, because it adds these by default some words that it thinks that you could change. But if it only has one part, then it's just going to choose that one. So this will just read as a straightforward sentence. So specializing in creative, uh, you can change creative to responsive. There we go. Uh, web design, uh, web design, web creation, uh, web, that would do, or small, medium, medium, large businesses is an award-winning, fabulous <laughs> web design agency. All right. Um, then we can add our hashtags. So we've got a little section here for hashtags. So you can add them in like hashtag, um, uh, Hashtag cool. Uh, or we did make them earlier, didn't we? In our little bucket uh, of variations, sorry, variables. Uh, so all our variables are shown here and our hashtags are here. Let's click there. Oh dear. Click there. There we go. Copy and paste that. And put it in here. There we go. Uh, and now this is quite important. You see this little part with the exclamation part, ex exclamation and tags. Let's put that here. So the question mark is how many hashtags do we want? So let's say four. So this means each post it generates will randomly select four hashtags from these variations. So I can change that to three, and it will give me three random hashtags from the variations I made earlier. Let's stick with four. Uh, then we've got our link, great media URLs, exactly the same as images. Um, so what are the, what? Web image, is that what we did? Can't remember what we called it now. Pictures for campaign, it was pictures for campaign, I'm going mad. Um, copy that, paste in here and they should yeah oh, hello max all right uh so we got our pictures um obviously you're going to want a lot more than that uh these you don't really need to worry about this section this is unique only to Publer, so you might not be seeing this at all uh and then once you're ready you can hop over to output and click generate here we go specializing actually i'll Change specializing so it's more obvious. Experts, professionals. There we go. And output. All right. There we go. Specialize in responsive web creation. Professionals in creative web. Professionals in responsive web. We've got, we've saved ourselves hours. There we go. 73 posts. So you can change it here to so if you want to if you have 73 and you want to download 73 make sure you change it here another little tip that we can do is we can treat this as a whole section so if we oops sorry if we add another bracket in there add a divider and then 
do another option. Hello, I am Alex. And divide that off. Two. Uh, then it will be either this or hello, I am Alex. You can, you can go deeper. You could really inception this. Uh, hello, I am cool. There you go. Give that one. Uh, yeah, it can get a little confusing. Uh, output, generate. Uh, Alex, anywhere here? Yep, there we go. Hello, I am Alex. Do we have cool here? There we go. Hello, I am cool. So yeah, you can get really creative with this. Uh, once you're ready, then you can just hit download all posts. Uh, it downloads in a CSV file, and then you simply go to your publishing dashboard of choice, log in, and then create posts. Uh, so in this case, let's let's go to mine. To make it work, each of your posts need to have already um, a scheduled time for it to post to. So in this case, in Publer, and it will be probably similar in your account, go to the accounts, click on the uh, account that you want to set the times for, so Facebook, then post scheduling times, uh, and then click autofill, say how many times a day or what time period, so 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock, and how many posts do you want. In this case, I've got five, one, two, three, four, five, click generate, and it will automatically create times within that day for your posts. Do that for each of your social media accounts that you wish to post to, and then we can get ready to start posting our new uh, Postmaker posts. So we simply click go back, and then we go to create, CSV import, pull that in. Wait a minute, a few magic words. And there we go, there's our posts and the images. Uh, sometimes they do like to clump together, so another little tip is you can give them a good old uh, shuffle. Shuffle, 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 uh, to mix them up. Uh, once you're happy, click on the accounts that you want to post to, that you just set up, scroll to the very bottom, zoom, and then click schedule. I'm not going to do this because obviously the, the three followers that I have will think I'm a crazy man. Um, and that's it. Uh, any questions, feel free to pop me a line. Um, and yeah, I, I wish you all well. Take care.